Uh, Deploy the bait trap. <laughs> Drop the bait. <laughs> Boy, that's a big crab. Uh, Mr. Crab, would you like a snack? <laughs> Sounds like a riddle. So these crabs were nowhere in sight when we had the uh, bait trap out. Yeah. <laughs> He's just sitting there, too. Oh. They're here, though. Well, dig the trap back out, but uh, no, we don't have enough time. Your call yet? No. Okay. <laughs> no. The minute we do it, it'll be like, okay, we're ready to start moving. Yeah. So what type of a flounder do you think we're looking at here? Those things are odd looking. Come forward a little bit for you, Mary. There you go. Can you send the mark coordinates right away? Yeah. What? Oop. Hello. <laughs> It's like blink, blink. Right. They're such a pretty color. Oh, look, we got another shrimp over there. Look at the shrimp. All my. Let's do a video. Very translucent. So that looks like another sea cucumber. Copy that, standby. They are cool. I'm gonna I never have them do 100 meter steps again. Sure. And All right. Let's do a wide video. I never saw that many. And if you start getting tugged, little feet on it, I'll let yeah. You. We'll, uh, yeah. Change it up. Linda from the Netherlands has um, been IDing a bunch of the organisms we're seeing, including the common and Latin name. Great job, Linda. Right on. Um, nice. She's noticed the groove tanner crab just like we did, and is describing the flounder as a Rex sole and the rockfish that we just looked at as well. Keep it up, Linda. Just laying there collecting food. Mallory, what did you suggest um, as a link for citizen science? Um, okay. I think subsea observers is one of them, um, but there's a large compilation of citizen science programs under Galaxy Zoo, okay. and that's one where people can go and look at safari photos this. or galaxy photos, or I'm pretty sure there are some undersea initiatives uh, there are a couple different international organizations on there. Oh, we woke them up. Thanks, Mallory. Is this our giant Pacific Where's octopus? There it oh. goes. They look so different when they swim. And then suddenly they're all legs. <laughs> Emo octopus. You little stinker. <laughs> <laughs> Did everyone see the story about the octopus that escaped from the New Zealand aquarium? Yes. <laughs> so neat. Uh, the flounder. Flounder. It's another flounder. <laughs> Is a sail. I guess that was his spot. <laughs> Kirk sent in um, the link to ONC's citizen science page, which you can find on oceannetworks.ca um, slash learning slash citizen science. So anyone who would like to get involved that way, that's through the Ocean Networks Canada website. And as Mallory was saying, there, there are a number of citizen science opportunities out there if you are um, interested in looking at some underwater footage and helping to identify what you're seeing. And now we have another anemone on the back of some type of gastropod snail. Go is, ahead. It, is it attached again this time? Or is it eating it this yeah. time? <laughs> There's an octopus. We have been doing some sightseeing Sorry, buddy, we don't have time. No, we're gonna, we're gonna drive right by. So right now, Hercules is going um, 
back over to some of the cables that we have located and identified earlier this morning. Um, and we're going to hook up some machinery to the cables to help the cable ship wave venture uh, bring them up to the surface in order to repair them on deck, these fiber optic cables that have been down for some time as we help in the massive repair of the Neptune Observatory. Thank you. Let's continue with another 100-meter step. One, zero, zero meters, same bearing.